New balance, new text, still the best deck. Let's go, baby. We got some special text to test today. And you guys are gonna witness some in action. Without further ado, let's go check them out. And don't forget to support your boy by getting your Triff Gaming playmats on TriffGaming.com. Don't forget to check out the Triff Gaming Pendulum Training Membership on Patreon down below. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Man, there's some new tech cards for Pendulums that no one is talking about. They're not even new. They are old cards, but no one plays them, and I don't understand why. They are legitimately good and a lot better. I can tell you right now, these tech cards you're about to see is, are 10 times better than Instant Fusion, mystical bestiari whatever reasoning whatever garbage cards you guys are playing better than magister better than a lot of monster cards you need spell cards that do something like draw cards hence you guys gotta witness right now what i think is the most underrated tech card that no one's playing that has a lot of potential and that is foolish burial goods with metaphors fusion at first you're gonna think yo that's so bad you're gonna draw the fusion and brick but here's what I realized, and I failed to realize on my streams when I was testing it. I failed to realize that you play arguably the best generic card in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Generic, not best card, best generic card. And that's Magician Souls. This is definitely not a budget list for all the budget players out there, but you have 10 Magician Souls in your deck. So if you have Foolish Burial of Goods Metal Falls Fusion, great. You have a free Upstart Goblin, fantastic, and you get a free Spell Counter. Who doesn't want that? If I could play 30 upstart goblins, I would play 30 upstart goblins without a shadow of a doubt because you're playing spell counter dot deck. Why would you not want that? You need more spell cards. You just need more. It, 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 there's no questions about it. But what if you draw the metaphor fusion? It could brick you, right? You play 10 magician souls. 10. Three souls by itself. Three abductor. That's six, right? Servant and mastery. That's 10. Because Servant or Master, when they hit the field, gets you Abductor. So if you hard draw Fusion and Servant, you're going to resolve the Servant because you still play 25 spells in your deck. Servant will bring out the Abductor. Abductor will bring out the Souls. Souls will discard the Fusion to not just draw for a Souls effect, but also draw for the Fusion effect. So do you guys see just how broken that is? You're going to see now, and there's also another attack you're going to see as we go on. So as you guys watch, if you guys love what you see, smash the subscribe button. Consider getting a beautiful Trip Gaming playmat on TripGaming.com. And sign up for a trip game membership to get good at pendulums. Just like that. Free. That's totally free. And what does the card give us? A blue boy. If we didn't draw... Let's say that card was a serp... Let's say that card was... You guys play three magister. A lot of people like three magister. A lot of people like reasoning. If that was reasoning instead of foolish burial goods, we're going to be at negative counters. No blue boy. Like, this is basically... This would be the board. This would be the board. Reasoning would bring out a random special summon monster that doesn't matter. But instead of that, you're going to draw two cards for free. Like, this is all thanks to, to Metaphors Fusion. Like, they're drawing two cards for free here. Broken. Now, we still didn't use the Souls. We're going to do something else here. We baited out Ash Blossom with Knowledge. If you didn't Ash with Knowledge, he doesn't have it. Just in case, we're going to Desires again. Just in case he has Ash. So if he doesn't Ash Knowledge or Desires, he doesn't have Ash. So you could freely use a Servant on the Citadel. And because this is a Magician Souls strategy deck, we are playing a, soul, uh, a Citadel as well. Because you want to resolve that effect of souls to draw two as much as you can. As you guys are going to see right over here. We're going to send souls to draw two cards. End up getting a mastery and into the void. We didn't even use a mastery yet. That's a broken look. Like we didn't even play yet. We didn't even pendulum summon yet. But thanks to the new plus cards of Metal Fusion, Foolish Bale Goods, Knowledge, Souls. Like all that combo is over there. We have four cards. We didn't even pendulum summon yet. We didn't even do anything yet. And we we're plus four already. Amazing. And it makes the deck way more consistent and powerful. I'm a big fan of it. I'm going to continue testing Metal Fusion in my stream because I didn't realize that my Servant, I thought it would brick you. I thought, I 100% thought Fusion would brick you. That's why I, I've said it for a very long time. But I realized with Souls and with Servant bringing up this Abductor, which brings out a Souls, so it's like a triple step process. It's really damn good. Here we're going to do a big brain play by using Mighty Master to pop to the lore in, uh, before our pen summon. And we're going to link summon here. Uh, Mighty Master, Servant, and Souls into a Selene. Playing through Nibiru at all times. There's enough counters on the field for Jacka to negate everything. And then we're going to use a Selene to bring out a Mighty Master from the Grave. Still playing through Nibiru no matter what. 
And then after that, we're going to make the Mighty Master and the Selene go into an Appaloosa. Now, instead of saving the Appaloosa, because there's nothing left in the graveyard, we could have done shenanigans with rank 7s. I have two Mighty Masters in the Extra Deck to Summon, and an Abductor and a Reflection in hand. So, you're still going to have a big board by playing through Nibiru the correct way. We could have done a bigger board by playing without Nibiru, with this being a Selene and having a free monster here, I mean, one extra interruption, but... You already have five negates, so that has two mass grant. Like, you're, you already win. What the, why would you not want to play around Nibiru just for one extra interruption? So always play around Nibiru when you can. He's playing sub terror here. He attempts to negate my stuff with Guru and Fiendus and mine. I'm just like, bro, try again. <laughs> he literally stand no chance there. Uh, enter battle phase. He's going to be cute and try and survive. I'm like, yo, you should have just scooped, so I don't know what the hell you're playing. I'd assume you're playing a good deck, and I wouldn't be siding back row hate. But you guys are going to learn a lot from this match right here. Uh, of uh, uh, just why the techs are amazing. That hand was it wasn't the hand was still good, but it just shows who's real goods. It's super consistent. I you guys want you to see my hand now. This is Brick Central. This is also why I think Jackal Money Master and Servers are very overrated. That Jackal, look at Jackal. What the hell is Jackal gonna do for me offensively? Nothing. It not, it's just a negate. But your deck already spews out negates because Souls brings out the Jackal or Mighty Master from your deck. So if you play two Jackal, two Mighty Master, and three Souls. You're playing seven of them. Does that make sense? So you don't need Jackal and Mighty Master at three. Because Souls, you're basically playing seven. Why would you want to brick yourself like that? People think Mythical Beasts do something. They don't plus for you. They don't plus for you at all. No, Mythical Beasts don't plus. Mighty Master doesn't plus. You want plus cards. If I had an Abductor instead of a, a Jackal in this hand, i destroy him. So we're going to keep that in mind. So he's going to add a Mystic Mind here. I should have won this match, but my own... my own uh, Got a little unlucky, obviously, brick, but it's okay. Here, we had a lot of side cards, but you want side cards. We end up doing nothing. We could have summoned some stuff like a fraction. I'm like, no, keep going. I know he has mine. I don't want to pen summon. I know he has Mystic Mine. So I'm going to wait until I can absolutely destroy everything. Here, Desires, as long as it gives me pendulum summonable cards, we win the duel. And it gave me useless cards. No targets and mastery. Desires definitely screwed us this time. We got very unlucky with it. No souls. If we had a souls, we would get rid of the extra cards. And then he'd hop to extra and we lose. We couldn't pen, we couldn't pen summon Jackal if we want. But then we have no other out to Mystic Mind, which we know he has. So we're going to, we lose here. He's, I'm st streaming while I'm playing this. So he knows what's in my hand and he stream snipes. I have five cards, in, I have five other cards in my hand, six cards in my hand. And he uses his uh, fiendness on my chronograph. I'm like, bro, you don't know my hand. You are clearly stream sniping my hand. You know I don't have a high scale. I'm like, you're such a pussy, bro. So anyways, he stream snipes that. When I have five, if you're going to stream snipes, fine. But if you're going to make it that obvious to negate a chronograph when I have five cards in hand, that's pathetic. So here, he's going to get me there. And uh, if it was a normal game, you won. If you didn't hit that, we won. But it's fine. We're going to go on to the next one. And it's going to showcase our next amazing tack that no one's thinking of. And this card at the moment is definitely going to be my deck no matter what. We saved this for the very end. I didn't even put it in the thumbnail. Or maybe I did. I forgot. But this is our opponent's hand. He is evenly matched, super poly, and evenly matched. How the hell are you going to come back from double evenly and a super poly? That alone is enough to win. How the hell are if you... I don't know how we're going to do it, but I do know how we're going to do it. And you guys are about to see. So we're going to keep playing here. I don't know when he has it, but I do know that he's... Uh, it's after siding. So I do know he's going to have... The only way Goryo could beat you if they super poly for three for all your darks. So you want to be prepared for that, right? Uh... And hey, it's not Secret Village, it's an even better way. Because see, what are you going to do to evenly match? You'll still die there, and you might brick you. So what are we going to do here? We are going to keep drawing. Uh, Dr. Sure Jackal, just in case we banish it, we want at least one Jackal on field. Desires gets us exchange. Better than engage. Trofonoski. Steven Trofonoski, 2020. So if you use, I'm going to Pendulum Summon and then use Exchange. We have enough cards to stop the Nibiru, so we're not even scared about the Nibiru. And Nibiru is not really played main deck anymore. We're going to Pendulum Summon and then use Exchange. Give him a useless blue boy, which we don't need. And take the Super Poly from his hand. And he's going to be left with two evenlies. So we still got to deal with two evenlies. Then he's going to have a dead card. But oh, that's fine. So two evenly, we need to put a two Mighty Master on the field, right? So I'll do you one better than two Mighty Master. We're going to do even better than that. So we're going to link here. How are we going to do two Mighty Masters? We have zero on the field. How are we going to do that, Triff? Well, Souls, the best card, generic card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Summons one. Magister summons a Jackal, or an Abductor right now. Uh, Link summon into another Selene, summon another Jackal, and Magister is going to bring out another Mighty Master. So just like that, we have another Mighty Master that we're going to bring out with Magister, and that's completely free. So he's going to activate Call by the Grave. Uh, we have a Mighty Master here if we want, so I'm like, you know what? 
he chains it. Big mistake there. He chains it rather than saving it. But I'm going to be like, okay, I'm just going to chain it. Didn't matter. He lost anyways. He activates his evenly. I'm like, nice, nice try. We have a Magister left, a Jackal left. And he has nothing to do. He just passes. Why? Because if he had, he had exchange, took away the Super Poly. And he had hit his city. But I'm like, bro, nice try. You can't do shit. Good game. On to the next one. So that's the video today, boys. How to play properly. Best text that you could use for a pendulum that no one's playing and no one expects. People have to read exchange, catch them by surprise. You don't want to be playing cards that they're thinking. Uh, get a, a competitive advantage where you can. If you guys like the video, smash the subscribe button. Consider getting yourself a beautiful trick game membership on the Patreon down below. And check out tripgaming.com for the best playmats in the game. Clock everything. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let's see the next video. Peace.